Simplify. Square root of 9 plus 4 times square root of 4 plus 2 times square root of 3. How shall we solve this problem? 3 square roots. Hmm. Firstly, let's have a look at 4 plus 2 times square root of 3. This one is interesting. Hopefully, it can be written as a perfect square. 4 can be written as hmm, 3 plus 1. And 3 plus 1, this 3 can be written as square root of 3, then squared. 1 is 1 squared, and this is 2 times square root of 3, then times 1. Oh yeah! It is square root of 3 plus 1 all squared. So now let's have a look at 9 plus 4 times square root of, this one is just square root of 3 plus 1 all squared. Since this guy is positive, so it is just 9 plus 4 times square root of 3 plus 1. It is 13 plus 4 times square root of 3. 4 times square root of 3 was this. It can actually be written as 2 times square root of 12. Because 4 times 3 is 12. Because it is 2 times square root of 4 times square root of 3. And 4 times 3 is 12. And here, 13 can be written as 12 plus 1 plus 2 times square root of 12. And this one is square root of 12 plus 1 all squared. So that means the entire thing under the largest square root is just square root of 12 plus 1 all squared. So our answer is approaching. It is square root of square root of 12 plus 1 squared because this guy is positive. So it is just square root of 12 plus 1. And square root of 12, we know it is 2 times square root of 3. So the answer is 2 times square root of 3 plus 1. Do you get it? Do you get the method? Do you get the trick? Give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe to me. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.